c'était rien et voilà qu'aujourd'hui je suis le gardien du sommeil de ce nuit je l'aime à mourir Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so my last video was talking about my home birth. So this will be introducing you to my baby. Um, this is Avi. He is five weeks and two days. Um, and I'm going to do uh, his one month update to talk about his weight um, and just everything that's happened so far this month. So Avi was born on January 17th at um, 2.31 a.m. And he was born at 5 pounds and 14 ounces. And then day two when my midwife weighed him, he was 5 pounds and 11 ounces. So he dropped a little bit, which was normal. And then day three was 5 pounds and 8 ounces. So he dropped a little more. And then by day five, he was 5 pounds and 15 ounces. So back to his normal weight. And then day 11, um, he was like 6.23 pounds. And then when we went to the pediatrician to finally see a pediatrician, like day 19, so around like three weeks, I think. Yeah, something like that. He was 6.72 pounds. Um, we are not sure what he is now. So he's slowly gaining weight. Um, it takes time. Um, but yeah, so this is Avi. Kind of sleepy right now, so this is Avi Ishmael Mitchell, my little baby, mon petit prince. Um, yeah, so <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so yeah, so he's gained weight. Um, he can lift his head up. Um, on tummy time. Um, he sometimes, not all the time, he sometimes rolls onto his side. Um, he has rolled once from his uh, from his belly to his back, which I was very impressed with. Um, um, his umbilical cord thing fell off at two days, which I think normally it falls off like between a week and two weeks. Um, at least most of my friends' babies, that's what I heard from them. Um, so yeah, we do use a pacifier. Um, for one thing, it prevents SIDS. Uh, sudden infant um, death, um, which is which I do not want, obviously. Um, he's a really good baby. He sleeps really well at night. He has more trouble falling asleep in the uh, afternoon. It takes time, and th but when he is asleep, I have to wake him up at a certain point, at least um, during the afternoon, because he'll go like six hours to take a nap, and I need to feed him. Um, because if not, my boobs start to hurt. <laughs> um, we are exclusively breastfeeding. Um, I do pump because I do work once in a while, so... Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you want your pacifier back? No? <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so I do work, so... Um, I do pump, um, you know, just so if I'm working and he gets hungry, my nanny can feed him uh, while I'm working. And I also have some pumped milk just if um, Chris wants to feed him, you know, bonding. Um, I, that's really important to me. And oh, he's waking up. Yeah? What's going on? Oh, tired. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, he's a really good baby. He's really calm for most of the part. Um, he is going through a leap, which is basically a developmental, uh, leap, basically. He's just growing, um, mentally, um, he's getting advanced. Um, but yeah, he's a really good baby, aren't you? Um, he loves to look around. I mean, at this age they can't really see that much but um what what do you want you want your pacifier back here 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 um he is cluster feeding today he does that every couple days which is exhausting <laughs> but um it's good for him and i do feed on demand obviously so whenever he's hungry i feed him um 
connection, but he is amazing. You know, I was watching a video a couple of days ago of, of, of when he was inside me kicking. And it's crazy to me that this was who was kicking me the whole time. And, you know, every time I would lie down, he was the one who was nudging my ribs at nighttime. Um, and he's more perfect and amazing. And I love him so much. I sometimes stare at him when he's sleeping and I'm like, I can't believe that I made you. You were inside me. Um, if you hear my cat, I'm sorry. She's trying to get in, but I don't really want to let her in. We're trying to not have too many animals around Abby. Um, the dogs love Abby. They give him kisses. Um, not We make sure that they don't kiss the face, but the hands and the toes and the top of the head is fine. Um, but yeah, no, especially the male Zeiss, he is obsessed with um, Abby. The, when we finally introduced him, he was crying to, because he wanted to see Abby. He was so excited. I think they're going to be best friends. And we also adopted a third German Shepherd. Well, not exactly adopted. Um, my German Shepherd Luna, they, she had five puppies. We decided to keep one. Her name is Ella and it will be Abby's puppy. Um, so basically we all each have a German Shepherd. So Chris has Luna. Um, Zeiss is bonded to me and Ella will be Abby's little dog. Um, so they're gonna grow up together and they're about a month apart. <laughs> so um, no, I, I can't wait to see them together. Um, but yeah, no. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about my postpartum um, recovery. Um, everything is going well. Um, I'm almost six weeks postpartum. Um, I am three pounds away from my original pre-pregnancy weight. Um, no, I have not exercised. Um, just, you know, all of it. I think breastfeeding also helps, uh, or so I read. For some people it does, sometimes it doesn't. I guess in my case it is. Um, but no, I'm, I'm not trying to do any exercise right now. I'm taking it easy still because, um, especially right after I gave birth, my blood pressure was really high. It is finally back to normal, which I am very grateful for. Um, because honestly, knowing that my blood pressure was stressing me, that was high, was stressing me out, which I'm sure did not help my blood pressure. Um, so it was kind of a vicious cycle. Um, and, oh, um, so we use cloth diapers. He had to be in disposable for about a week, which I really did not like, but he was so small, so he couldn't fit in his cloth diapers. And now we are. His little cloth diapers. Yes. Environmentally friendly. Um, yeah, I, I'm very into my cloth diapers. I spent enough money on them to make sure that uh, we did it this way. Um, we wash them every two days. Um, yeah, um, you know, because in Haiti, we don't have like a really a trash disposal or a place, you know, where they take the trash. That's not how it works. We have to burn our trash which I hate but that's honestly the only way it's the way they do it here and so I don't like the idea of of that I you know it's so wasteful and there are other ways and honestly they're so cute I have some with really you know like turtles and feather prints and I don't know my little fluff butt right yeah what do you think um yeah no as you can see he's very calm you know He's just a happy baby and loves to be in my arms. Um, he does take naps in his crib. Um, but he does, we co-sleep. We have the Snuggle Me Organic that we use in the bed. And it's just a lot easier for breastfeeding. So we use that. Um, but no, he's an amazing baby. Um, Everyone who um, sees him thinks so, that he's, you know, very calm, he's a very calm baby. So, um, he looks like both of us, um, 
but, um, so he has my chin and my lips and then the top half is Chris uh, so the nose and the forehead we're not sure about the eyes we're not sure what color eyes he's going to have right now they look brown to me but I can't tell um, so I'm not sure but he does have like a dark circle like mine because um, I have two different blues in my eyes I have a dark blue and then a light blue um, but he does have a dark circle and then lighter eyes so. but they look brown to me but Everyone thinks that they're going to become blue. So we shall see. Isn't that right, Abby? Um, so I never talked about his name. I mean, I revealed it in the last video. So his name is Avi. Um, it is Hebrew. It means father or God. Um, I wanted a Hebrew name for my son. That was really important to me to have a Jewish name. And then Ishmael. <laughs> Uh, Chris wanted that uh, for a while. I thought the name was gonna be Ishmael Avi and then Chris decided to do it Avi Ishmael um, We haven't gotten his American passport and American birth certificate yet. We have gotten his Haitian birth certificate um, But not his American one. We just have things have been a little crazy in Haiti right now. There have been a lot of protests uh for over a week there were some protests. Now it's calmer. Carnival has been canceled for everywhere in the country except for Jacques Mel. That is a big thing that it's canceled. Like the national carnival in Port-au-Prince is canceled. Um, I will make a video more in depth into the situation of why there were protests and everything in Haiti. It's just right now, it's not the best time to do that um, in this video. This video I really wanted to concentrate on Avi and um, and my postpartum recovery. Um, yeah, but I am feeling well. Avi is healthy. Um, eats like a champ. Yeah. Um, you know, he's still small. He still weighs little, but little by little he will, you know, um, he will grow. Isn't that right? Do you want your best? Yeah. Okay. Um, I speak to him in French and English, but I'm trying to speak to him more in French because I really want, that's important to me, and obviously in school, um, which is a while, he'll get French, but, um, you know, around you'll probably hear more Creole, like, with our nanny and with you know um the people around he'll hear more creole than french and it's important to me that he speaks french um his godmother just went to france and i asked her to buy me a bunch of uh french baby books for him which she did which i think i'm gonna go to la sometime i don't know in may maybe um still trying to find it out um, dealing with my brother, making sure, because uh, I really want my brothers to meet Abby. Uh, it's their nephew, uh, their first nephew. <laughs> um, yeah, and I can't wait for them to meet him. He's a special little guy. Isn't that right? N'est-ce pas mon petit prince? Qu'est-ce que t'as? Hmm? Um, I don't know if there's anything I need to add. Um... He's getting his first shots soon, and then he's going to get them again. A lot of shots um, at his two month, uh, which he's, I'm, I don't know. I might cry. Um, I don't know. Um, there was one doctor visit, and he cried, and I started crying. Um, and I told my midwife about it, and she's like, yeah, your mom, you feel all his pain now, which, yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, I know, but he's a really good baby. Okay, um, I'm going to try to f film all the videos that I can because I know I'm really behind. It's just, it takes a while. It's just overwhelming. Um, you know, being a mom is not easy, especially with a newborn. They demand 
<laughs> they, they want you a lot, you know, between breastfeeding and making sure they're happy, you put them down, uh, he wakes up, gotta pick him up, put him in a wrap, uh, you know, it's, you know, my schedule is based on him, basically. So when he needs me, that's when I listen. So, uh, you know, I try to make Chris some food. I got to do it in two minutes before Chris, before Avi wakes up. Um, you know, I hear him crying. I'm like, oh, okay, got to go back upstairs. But no, I love it. Um, no, this is what I wanted. This is what I wished for. And he's more than I wished for. Um, yeah. Um, tomorrow's carnival, but we're not going... We're probably going to go to my dad's hotel and just sit on the balcony, me and him, and Chris will go out and film. Just because um, too many people, too many germs, newborn, and yeah, that's basically why. Okay. Um, I think that's it, so thank you for watching this video. I will try to post more videos soon. Um, yeah. Um, please give me a thumbs up. I'm a little tired, I'm sorry. Please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, and put the bell notification. Anytime I post a new video, you will be notified. Thanks. Bye.